Good morning, y'all. It has been a pretty normal morning. Nothing super exciting has been going on. You saw I did my usual walk, got my bowl for breakfast, started working. Now it is 11 and I am getting ready because I need to go to the grocery store. I'm filming this for another video, so if you'd like to see me grocery shop and all that good stuff, then check out the other video. But I need to pick up a few things that I wasn't able to get at Costco, so I'm going to grab those real fast and then we'll continue working. But this vlog is another work from home diaries vlog however this one is about avoiding burnout especially if you've been following me since my college vlogs you would know that i struggle with burnout <laughs> immensely however since i've graduated college i haven't been as burnt out i've been struggling more with motivation truthfully but when I was in college, I committed to everything and I just got burnt out so much. Now that I am post-grad, I'll tell you one of the ways that I avoid being burnt out is listening to what I need. Now, there has to be a balance with this because you can't always follow your feelings and just do whatever you feel like doing at the moment. Obviously, we all have responsibilities, we all have things that we need to do, and we need to do them well and to the best of our ability. But my problem when I was getting burnt out is I was ignoring my feelings altogether because I needed to finish that assignment or I had to work a shift or something like that. So, I was not very good at listening to my feelings ever. I'll give you an example of what this looks like in my post-grad life. Yesterday, I went to the office with the puppy, Winston. I'm allowed to bring Winston to the office, so I do it sometimes, but it is so hard to pack up all of his stuff and then let him out every few hours and then watch him and make sure he's not chewing things he's not supposed to be it's just a lot to manage so i don't do it too often but i did it yesterday we got to the office at 7 30 in the morning me and winston we left at 6 50. so it was a really really early morning i woke up and literally just got ready immediately and packed up the stuff and we left I didn't get home until 6 p.m., a little bit after maybe, 6.15. So I was almost gone for 12 hours of the day. So I was planning on doing all of these productive things for social media for myself in the evening, but I was not planning on being in the office for that long. <laughs> So what I ended up doing instead, Alec made me dinner. So I ate that. Then I watched some TV. I took Winston on a little walk and I relaxed. And that's what I did. And that's kind of what I mean by paying attention to how you're feeling. I was feeling so exhausted. It's just exhausting to wake up that early to take your dog to be at work that long it was just a really tiring day so that's an example of listening to your feelings but not doing that all the time sometimes you do have to push through Alrighty, let's head to the grocery store.
leftovers from a date night this week a poppy and cucumbers ignore my mess on the table but this is lunch you're wondering why he's wet he gets sprayed when he does bad things Stop doing bad things and you'll stop getting sprayed. He's trying to go for some treats right now. Stop going for the treats. Whee! Stop going for them. He's sniffing them out. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha ha! You want to get sprayed again? Don't bite me. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't buy me again. <laughs> the day has gone gotten away from me. It's 5.45 and I feel like I haven't done that much today. That's why I haven't filmed that much. So we need to get some stuff done. That guy's being crazy. So I'm trying to calm him down. I'm going to finish rough editing this video. Then I'm going to cook dinner. I just checked on the chicken and it was still frozen. So I put it in some hot water so that it hopefully thaws out and I can cook it. So my vlog camera completely died yesterday, but I wanted to share another work from home tip to avoid burnout. And something that I think is so important is having things to look forward to throughout the week so that you have motivation to keep working and you don't just feel like everything is mundane. So what I do is I always try to make sure I have a hangout planned with at least one friend a week. Also on the weekends, we normally plan things, whether it's also with friends or with family, just making sure that you have things to look forward to. Even if you don't wanna hang out with anybody, but you do wanna do something by yourself, you could 
go have a picnic at the park, you could hammock, you could drive to the mountains, you could read a book. There are so many things that you could look forward to that would make your work week less mundane. So that's my tip for that. Hope you enjoyed this short little work from home vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye, guys.